Tea and chocolate make a pretty great pair at a Portland area tea shop. Yeah, it all started with a woman's mission to bring her home country's tea culture to Oregon. Foxo's Iowa Lease is in the studio now to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. And yeah, Mamanti Tea and Chocolate Shop was started because of the owner's love for all things tea. But for her, tea is more than just a drink and chocolate is more than just delicious. Serving the two together is a way for her to share her culture while providing a space for people to connect. Uh, everyone who comes in has a surprise on their face. And, oh, wow. Literally every single time. And we love it because it's, it's like uh, an experience of joy that you get to share. Well, Mamansi is a tea and chocolate company. We produce chocolates in-house and we source our teas from all over the world. Mamansi owner Ann Johnson moved to Portland and noticed she had fallen into coffee culture without realizing it until one day. You know, when I started dating my husband, he took me to a tea shop in Northwest Portland, and that got my attention, and I never really thought of tea particularly. I mean, I drank it at home, but I never really thought of it until that time. At home in Kenya, tea was just a part of life, and that's when she got the idea. Why not open her own tea shop? Well, it's something we took for granted in Kenya. This is something we do all the time, right? Um, when I say all the time, I literally mean all day long. Uh, so in Kenya, when we wake up in the morning, the first thing we drink is tea, right? And in my household, my mom would have a pot of tea ready in case a visitor came in. <laughs> it had to be steaming hot. So the hospitality aspect of tea is huge in Kenya. And it's one of those things where if you come to visit me, I have to offer you a nice cup of tea. I have to create a nice ensemble of yummy things, you know, uh, mandazis, uh, samosas, um, something that you can eat alongside it. So she headed off to tea sommelier school so she could expertly serve a steaming cup of tea and then later on became a chocolatier so she could deliver a sweet snack alongside it. For Anne, bringing the Kenyan perspective on tea to Portland is all about hospitality and connecting. We have a need for people to connect and a people to enjoy something that breaks boundaries and I think every time I've been connected with tea, it's one of those beverages that I've found that breaks barriers of any person's tribe, religion, space, age. The best part for the tea shop owner is introducing people to the wonderful world of tea. When they start to taste the teas and they see the quality of our teas, they start to see the the aspects of health benefits that they can get from the teas. And now it becomes an introduction to something different that they are not so much accustomed to. Um, and then once they try our handmade chocolates, they're sold. <laughs> And I highly recommend the caramel filled chocolate. It was so good and a great pick for Valentine's Day. And you can pick up yours at one of two locations in Beaverton or in Hillsboro. And we'll have the details on our website. 